Geminis, welcome to your weekly Sidereal Astrology Forecast. This is for May 16th to the 22nd of 2016. I'm Athen, and this is for Sidereal. If you are new to the channel, be sure to check out the link because the signs are different. So Gemini, this week we have a full moon over the weekend on Saturday. So this is an illuminating week. I think as the week unfolds, there's more of that forward moving energy. And the full moon is always a status check sort of time where we can evaluate these areas of life and see where we want to continue to cultivate and also what might need to be let go in order to continue to cultivate these areas. So for you, it's involving both your uh, fifth house and your sixth house because the full moon is going to be right on the cusp between Libra and Scorpio. Okay, really accentuating both houses. It might lean either way depending on your personal chart, but um, I think generally both areas here. So the fifth house is the house of self-expression. This is the house of your interests, your passions in life or your hobbies. Basically anything that's close to your heart or that you consider a fun side of life or creative side of life. So that's being illuminated at the end of the week. And uh, if there's anything you've been involved with here over the past six months involving things close to the heart, then that can be a culminating time here and also a status check of seeing again where you can continue to move forward uh, and cultivate that area. Now, in terms of the fifth house, which is a much more active, or excuse me, sixth, which is a much more active house for you, um, you've had both Saturn and Mars retrograde in the sixth. Now, the sixth house is about your work, and it's about your routine, and it's about your health in many ways when it's about the type of routine and regimens you know, involved in your health. So uh, for some of you, it might be involving your daily activities, such as like um, at the workspace. There's a lot of reflection here for some of you, perhaps rethinking how your work is unfolding, how you can put some energy in there, where you're putting your energy in your work, in fact, is what Mars Retrograde in the 6th has been showing you, right? What you're building here with your work, how you can develop your crafts, get better at what you do, or perhaps have a bit more of a patient and grounded approach to your work, all right? And the same applies if it's about your self-improvement or it's about your routines or your regimens, all right? That hard work. But re-examining nonetheless, because both planets retrograde is suggesting that you guys are learning a lot about these matters, about your work, your health, your routines. So that's going to be illuminated. And I think uh, there's a lot of awareness coming in at the end of the week regarding this. And I think particularly with the Mars, because full moon is going to be very close to a conjunction with that Mars. And so this is, again, particularly where you're putting your energy on the daily level, all right? And what might need to be let go in terms of unhealthy things or things that are just no longer serving you, because Mars is a very transformative planet like that anyways. And um, then seeing where you can put new energy, where you can continue to implement, I think, a healthier um, energy of the sixth, all right? Not that it's necessarily unhealthy, but it's the time to be reflecting in regards to where it can be more healthy, where it can be more balanced in your life. All right, so that's the um, full moon at the end of the week. And so approaching that, we do have some aspects, uh, one of which is very important. In fact, going into next week, which is Jupiter squaring up to Saturn. Okay, so this has been an ongoing theme since August of last year. And this, ha this the second aspect was back in March. And so now this is the final aspect going into June. So the key with this is that this is all about slow and steady growth. Okay, and this is relating to, I think, your work or your routine, you know, taking that self-imposed limited approach to that, hopefully, maybe working hard, working smart in that area, which is Saturn, patient. Uh, but the square from Jupiter on that side is that there are opportunities here for you guys to definitely be cultivating your work through a, a bit of a reflective, in a, in a reflective way. All right, so um, you might be trying new things. It's good to be flexible and that kind of stuff. But it's about, again, the slow and steady growth here, and being patient with a lot of that stuff. Now, likewise, Jupiter, who's getting the square, has recently gone direct in your third house. So this, this house is very important because you just had the north node shift into the third. You've had Jupiter go direct here last week. So there's a lot of this forward-moving energy now, I think, for you guys to perhaps get a bit more active with sharing with others or learning, or reading, or writing. All of this third house stuff, which is really about the intellectual side of life and exchanging side of life. For some of you, it might be business or the marketplace. Some of you might be 
getting involved in your community or with your peers in some sense. Some of you might be taking a course or have been, you know, that kind of thing. So that's going to be continuing to move forward. But with this square from Saturn, it's saying that's great. There's definitely opportunities here, but with patience that this is a long term approach. And it being the last aspect, I think we do understand all this to a degree. But now it's the final integration, the final time to uh, do it, have that more grounded approach to it, and then continue to cultivate this area. Because it really is, for the next two years, excellent for you to be involved with this more communicative or exchanging side of life or intellectual side of life. So um, that's that square. And like I said, that's going to be exact next week. So as the week unfolds, it does get stronger in that sense. Now here on Thursday, we do have Venus <clears throat> shifting into Taurus. So with all this, you know, it is a deep time for you. It's a good time for you to be going within, you know, just last weekend, you had the sun in the 12th house. So you can be gaining energy by getting some of that alone time, getting some of that reflective time. Venus shifting in here means you can probably enjoy it, particularly the second half of the week, maybe having a bit more of that sensitive approach in your relationships, maybe more of a sensitive approach to how you express yourself. And uh, with the sun here, maybe communicating, because the sun rules your third house, communicating in a way that's a bit more present or with more acceptance, right? Because at the end of the day, the 12th house is about acceptance, acceptance of life. And it's through that acceptance that we gain the peace, we gain the tranquility. And uh, you could be, in fact, not only gaining that energy of, of tranquility, but also understanding a lot more about yourself on that deeper level. You know, where there might be some anxieties, where there might be some attachments, right? And that's why it's good to get that alone time. So it's a deep time. It's a spiritual time. And I think it's excellent uh, for about the next month to be uh, cultivating that greater awareness of uh, the importance of surrender, the importance of letting go, and the tremendous peace that arises from that in life. And that's, of course, been confirmed by the fact that Mercury has been retrograde. But Mercury, your ruler... Going direct here on Sunday does mean I think there are some, uh, there's a bit of this now forward moving energy in terms of what you've learned about your aspirations, which was your ruler. And it still is very much about your aspirations at the moment in the 11th. For some of you, maybe connecting with friends and groups and community stuff. Some of you technological and networking. But generally, this is the house of <clears throat> what we aspire for, our hopes and wishes. And so you've been reflecting on a lot of that over the past few weeks that starts to move forward and there is a bit of that energy there as well that's slowly going into next week because it of course does take time for mercury to gain that momentum but this week with mercury still retrograde definitely still emphasizing that lowering of energy that reflective time finding the flow of life and in that way it's very tranquil and you could you actually can get a lot done in fact through that uh that approach so that's the um that's the weekend, essentially, because on Saturday, we're going to have that full moon and then that Mercury going direct on Sunday. So again, with this full moon and illumination of your self-expression, what are the things that you enjoy in life? All right, reflecting on that. If there's been anything over the past six months that you have been cultivating with, which you might consider as close to the heart, then continuing to move forward with that. You know, it could be things like romance or children or creative things in your life entrepreneurship sometimes is fifth house so that stuff is coming to a forefront and a status check for you to continue to cultivate now the other side of it is i think pulling into the routine side of it again the awareness of where you can continue to cultivate your health your work your craft in a reflective way in a flexible way but being patient with it with that saturn re-examining where you're putting your energy, where you're putting your momentum and drive. All right, so Geminis, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.